Hello everybody, welcome back. This is Neonar, and we're once again in Until Dawn. The last ep episode, we went out to the cabin with a couple of the teenagers, or young adults, and they were being followed. Gone to a mine, then went and got into the... Uh, looks like uh, up to where the cabin's at, but I don't remember if we actually made it in the cabin or not. Then we came back to here, and she went to run herself some water. And there's no hot water, so now she needs furnace. No, they don't have power here or anything, it seems. Oh, that was interesting. What is that? Okay, something didn't sound good. So. Oh. Give me that like, give me that subscribe, and we're going to go and see what she's going to get into here. Anything in here? What do we have here? Joan D. Smith, tattoo artist in Vancouver. Nice. Oh, March 18th, 9.30. So he's getting a tattoo. Butterfly is over here. Somebody likes butterflies. Dear Hannah, I would be delighted if you would attend my awesome party at 7 p.m. 7.13.2013. Nice. We got something in here too. Are you staring at us out the windows? Not this time. Hello, could this be any more about Mike? Okay. Somebody has an attraction to Mike? Need a flashlight, need some lights, something. Name out there. See what's over here. Oh. Ooh, that's kind of a a hint of something that could happen. Interesting. Are there any lights in this place? Come on. crazy place we used to have a spirit board oh what wow you have a spirit board <laughs> yeah yeah they're... those things are a joke man they don't do shit no way bro i mean we used to do it all the time me and well hey, josh no hot water is kind of major oversight don't you think yeah yeah, well, yeah you just gotta f fire up the boiler it's in the basement all right you guys see we if you can find the spirit, spirit board chris let's go find it it'll be like a scavenger hunt um, okay. Guess so. Brad, I mean, you're not gonna regret it. You up for a ride along? Hey. Go down to the basement and get that boiler working. How about putting some power in this place all together?
You can hit that button. Just trying to see if there's a run, because man, this is slow and painful. Hey, you notice how I gave Chris and Ash a mission together? Yeah, I was thinking they could use some alone time. Wish Chris would go for it. He's so paralyzed, thinking she's gonna shoot him down. It's not gonna happen. Which thing? Well, neither. If he doesn't go for it, which knowing Chris, he won't unless someone's holding a gun to his head. <laughs> Wait up for me. You got the only light here. You know, Sam. Yes, Josh. I just wanted to say. What? It really it means, means a lot, lot to me that everyone came back this year, and you know that you came, you came, Sam. Josh, we're here for you. Really, whatever you need, whenever, we're all gonna make it through this. Together. Um, I want us to have a good time, you know? Hey, watch your step. Basement within I think a basement. I a little old set of stairs. Mm -hmm. It's a cool place, but it's way too big for anything I'd ever need. And, oh, there's a light here? Boy, it's a weak light. There's one here. There's light in the rest of the building. Sorry to drag you down into the bow. Oh, just get me some hot water and I'll be super fine. I mean, I wouldn't want you coming down here on your own, you know? Well, it's definitely creepy down here. Yep. Not a place to be on your own. Here, can you, can you hold this? What was what? Just shy in here so I can see what I'm doing. No Krause, it's creepy. I don't need to electrocute him. Nice one. Okay, first things first. We gotta increase the water pressure before we get the boiler fired up. Mmm, sounds kind of complicated. No, it's actually pretty simple. Oh, damn. It's okay. I'm just... Try again. Try again. Uh, Relax. It's not that hard. Doing it too. Press the button when the light comes on. Okay, okay, okay. I'll get it this time. I was doing it too soon. I didn't expect that. I had my hand away from the controller. Oops. What the hell is that? That could be a lot of things. And none of them nice. Quit it. <laughs> I'm just, just joshing you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you were really freaked out. Point. Dirty love. 
What? No. Where'd you get the first point? Doesn't start at 30? No, 15. Oh. oh. More of a ping pong now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, okay, so you hear that too, right? Josh. What? Do I something weirdly regular? Not, not, nothing regular about it. Maybe we should check it out. Yeah, don't go alone. We go together. It's like a, a pipe that's about to burst or some problem with the furnace. Unlikely. If it were me, I wouldn't want this place to burn down on my watch. Yeah, right. That's Mike or something, but I jumped. Nice one. That was good. Wait, wait, wait. Why would you do that? There's all this cool old movie crap down here. What was I? Was I not supposed to take advantage of the opportunity? Are you? Are you serious? Were you in on this, putz? <laughs> no, but I, I wish I was. That was too good. I'm ready to admit that your dumb little prank may have a slight whiff of humor to it. Joke master. Well, I, I said nothing about jokes. I said your prank, which was dumb. Holy crap, crap. you were scared. scared. Admit it. I was not. Come on, you totally pissed yourself. Josh. What in God's name are you wearing? I found my true calling. Mm -hmm. Please tell me you're going to take a vow of silence. Okay, okay, did you at least find the thingy? Boy, 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 boy. Here's our one-way ticket to the spirit realm. Mm. You know what? You know what? No, no. I've just been through enough spooking for one night, okay? I see a hot bath in my crystal ball. Mm. All right? So have fun. Oh, but watch out for that, Josh. He's a schemer. Okay. <laughs> oh, that was a little fun. Okay. Matt, you gonna come with me to get my bag? Yeah. These two had to go get the bags, that's right. Yeah, there's another couple. I couldn't remember what we did with. Had to couple go get the bags. I figure out who's gonna be the first Why, one out. Adam? Why, thank you, sir. And who the ultimate person is it's doing it hey M. yeah feeling a little better now say what that was a nasty fight the further we get from jessica the better i feel i just want you to relax you know have a good time i'll relax when everyone else relaxes but thanks for trying I'd at least have a flashlight. Okay. All right. Well, at least then we got the lights on. I was getting the generator going. Yeah, throw it that way. Hey, doofus, come this way. Trying to get me somewhere private? Why don't you uh, come find out? Hmm. 
Matt. Yeah? Thanks, Thanks for, for helping, helping me, me find my bag. I know I can be a little high maintenance. A little? Oh, boy, she don't want to go through. But you gotta remember, there's more to this guy than just being a lean, mean, luggage-lifting machine. You gonna back that up? All day. <laughs> what? All day. <laughs> Wait, what does that mean? Like, all day long. I was being, like, sexy. Oh, that's He didn't get it. He's too stuck up. out here tonight wow yeah it's so nice to be here with you muscle man uh, i'm not all muscle there are some brains in here too well you got enough brains to like me so let's see that brawn you ever done it outside before outside of what my car i like your car roomy this ain't roomy enough for you You know what? Maybe there's a better spot. Does this spot start with a G? There are lots of places out here. I already started clearing this off for us. Like a gentleman. Well, come on. Let's look around. What's so important in the bag, anyways? It's just my undies. The lacy ones. We don't need those. No. You don't want me to model them for you? I'm just gonna rip them off anyways. Maybe I want to show them off. Puts me in a generous mood. Let's go get them. <laughs> Sounds like every, every movie is from the 1970s to 90s. That's cool. Sexy kisser on this thing. Dared put your hand in it. Day, I wouldn't. Just slide it up in there. Ah! <gasps> Emily. Emily. <laughs> gotcha, big dick. Jesus, you're ridiculous. Oh come on. What's that? Uh, I'm not sure. Probably just an animal. Do not, Do not like. That when she fell into the uh, tunnel, or something else happened to the group over there. Here you are, madam. Thank you. Oh my! Very impressive. I think that's the way we would have came down if we went straight through the gate. Let's see what we have up here. That looks like an ominous. What the hell? Somebody made a snowman. Uh, that oh, was that not, not there before. Yet. Is that a note? note? Oh. Uh. Um. Ooh, oh, I'm trying yeah. to penitentiary. Okay. It's got to be Chris or Josh. They're just trying to mess with us. I don't like this. Me neither. Oh, Matt! What the hell's going on? 
the hell did this? You know, I'm kind of not giving a shit about my panties anymore. I kind of just want to split. Agreed. I don't blame you. Remember, back to this guy. And whoever is interview, I think, is the person that's setting up all this stuff. Whether it's the guy from the penitentiary or toward people who fear failure and worry about what others think of them. Do you share this fear? No. Then how do you feel about people who are afraid? I see. Well, Chris has a fear of failure. Do you feel pity for him? Indeed, that is apparent from the choices you've made. It gets creeper and creeper every time we come visit. And now, let us investigate your feelings toward other people in greater depth. I'm really wondering if what, what we decide here changes things in the story. Yourself and others. Which would you say was most important in a person? Loyalty or honesty? If you're honest, then you can be so, loyal. You would tell the truth, even if it resulted in an unpleasant outcome for a friend. And what about honesty then? And charity? I still value honesty. An honest person will give to charity when it's appropriate. Charity is overrated, I suppose. Better to be true to yourself than to help others in need, eh? I didn't say that. You're um, using it in context. Again, I'm afraid we're out of time. We'll talk again soon. There's... Uh, those are absolutes, and there's no absolutes in things. Chapter 3. Hunted. Hunted. Eight hours until dawn. So, it says here. To communicate with the spirit world, you must free your mind of all preconceptions, drop all inhibitions, and generally give yourself over entirely to the will of others, sublimating your every desire to the whims of the spirit master, which is me. It doesn't say that. And all present will remove their garments at my sole discretion. Chris, come on, this is serious. <laughs> oh, I'm deadly serious. <laughs> oh, shush it. Let's try this. Yes, please. Okay, then. Let's see what happens. Ashley, since you're a recent convert, why don't you be our medium for today? Okay. Um, is anyone there? Will you reveal yourself to us if you're there? <laughs> Wait a minute. Did you do that? I didn't do anything. It's moving again. <laughs> H? What's it spelling? Hold on. How's this happening? Are you moving it? I swear, it's just moving. Holy shit. Help? How are we supposed to help? I don't know. What does it mean? We need to know who it is if we're supposed to help them. Who are you? Oh, here it goes. Okay, S. I. S. T. E. R. Sister. Sister? Who's sister? Oh, come on. Is this for real? Shut up. Ask it who's sister. Josh, it's, it's gotta be. Yeah? Okay, well, which sister is it then? Ashley, ask who it is. Who are we speaking to? Beth? Is that you? Beth. Oh, God. <laughs> this is messed up. Josh? Are you... I'm fine. 
Are you sure? Because we can stop. No. Dude, it's cool. I want to hear what it says. I don't know where to start. Think about it. it if this is actually Beth, I mean, we can find out what happened that night. Oh, okay. Um, let me think. Beth, we want to know what happened to you that night. Can you tell us? H. A. N. N. It's spelling Hannah. Wait, it's still going. K. I. L. L. Oh my god. Killed. Guys, guys, what's she talking about? I don't know if I can keep doing this. We have to. Just, just, just stay calm. I, I think it's saying that someone killed Hannah. I don't know. I just ask it something else. How did Hannah die? Okay. Okay. How was Hannah, Hannah killed? killed? L. I. B. The library. Maybe there's something in the library here. R. O. O. Proof. There, there's, there's proof. In the Holy shit. Chris. You know what? No, this is bullshit. This isn't real. Josh, I don't know what's going on. Listen, look, I don't know. I don't know if you think messing with me is somehow going to help me deal with my grief or whatever, but this is not cool. Josh, no! You wanted to use the spirit board! Hey, hey calm down. It's, it's not actually. I don't need this right now, okay? You guys are full of it. Should we go after him? Ah, oh, man, I'm... I mean, he'll be okay. Let's... Let's just give him some time. I don't blame him. That was crazy. The pointer flew right off the table. If, if, if you were faking it, if you were doing one hell of a job. I wasn't faking anything. I think we should do what it says. We should look in the library. Okay. Yes? Mike. Oh, that's right. She disappeared yes. on the other side of that. That's right. That's what happened. Took off after she jumped down the other side. But that's going to be next episode when we go explore this. I hope you enjoyed it. I know yes. I'm having fun enjoying this. Where it's been pretty, pretty fun. This is not so, funny. With that, give me a like and subscribe. And we'll see you on the next one.